On May 7th, the lawsuit ACLU versus James Clapper, the director of national intelligence, was decided. A three-judge panel for the Second Circuit held that the telephone metadata program exceeds the scope of what Congress has authorized and therefore violates Section 215 of the Patriot Act. Does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. It does not? Not wittingly. There are cases where they could in inadvertently, perhaps, uh, collect, but not, not wittingly. James Clapper's attorney, Robert Litt, claimed that he wasn't lying when he wrongly told Congress in 2013 that the government does not wittingly collect information about millions of Americans, he just forgot. This was an untruth or a falsehood. This was just a mistake on his part, Robert Litt said. We all make mistakes. The ruling sends the case back to the district court for further proceedings. If past practice is any lesson, Congress will wait until the spying program is about to expire and then in a panic to frighten the American people into accepting more intrusions on their privacy. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has already put forth a new bill as a stopgap measure to allow time for a fuller debate on the issue. His stopgap? A five-year reauthorization with no changes to the current program. Section 215 of the Conspicuously Subversive Patriot Act, commonly referred to as the Library Records Provision, 215 allows the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, as applied by the director of the FBI or an official designated by the director, access to tangible things deemed under investigation. This investigation must be conducted in accordance under the guidelines laid out in Executive Order 12333 and must not be carried out on citizens whose activities are protected by the First Amendment. All orders must be granted by a FISA court judge. This breach of trust by the federal government was exposed by whistleblowers and undermined by the intelligence community on a massive scale. Uh, I made the statement about that uh, the greatest threat to our uh constitutional form of government since the Civil War is what's happening now in terms of spying in the United States. And that's the domestic spying program Stellar Wind that they started in secret and have been running in secret. Uh, so they're violating the constitutional rights of everyone. Uh, First Amendment rights that are violated because they, uh, you have the right under the First Amendment to have a free, free association. It doesn't say you have the right to free association as long as the government knows about it. That's, that's a direct violation of that one. Meanwhile, the mouthpieces of the American counter-terror movement project the PSYOP needed for the unconstitutional legislation. Expect to see more blatant extortion thrown at the feet of the American people. Threats like these will increase as the scrutiny of unconstitutional surveillance grows. Is the U.S. the new front line in the fight against ISIS? Well, we're certainly vulnerable, and this is all part of ISIS's strategy of conveying a winner's message. The motive is, let them attack, have the mainstream media never point out that our own governments funded them, created them, protected them, and allow them to attack, and then bet your bottom dollar we're going to be attacked when more attacks happen, Paul, uh, for pointing out that our government allowed it to happen bare minimum. Here's a tweet. Americans take pride in carrying handguns. What's your little gun going to do when an IED, IED explodes spraying shrapnel faster than sound? So they're now um, demonizing the Second Amendment. Oh, they're total the cowards. And, the and exactly. And our government's going to say, roll over, give your rights up when we get attacked. When we get attacked by their ISIS slobs, uh, we're going to hold our traitorous government accountable. We're putting the narrative out now, and we've been doing it for four years. So when your jihad force globalist hits America and the Europe, you're going to get the blame. You hear that, Obama? You hear that, Henry Kissinger? You hear that, all of you? Northcom, Southcom, you're going to get the blame. Intelligence community, please explain how a Subway restaurant worker has her Twitter and Facebook accounts immediately shut down after supporting the heinous murder of two police officers in Mississippi, but ISIS member accounts are allowed to stay online to threaten the global populace at will. John Bound, Infowars.com.